and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Turbo Watcher. That's right, we're going to be playing this combo deck that's all about getting the Watcher in play and attacking with it. So we have a Shadow Isles for all your deck. This is our first donation deck of the day. We got all donation decks today, all viewer submitted decks. So this one is going to be uh, with Lissandra. We need to create the Watcher. That This is going to be our way that we're going to be winning a lot of games. So it for, first we have to have Lissandra in play. And we have to have summoned two plus um, allies that cost eight plus mana. Okay, so once we do that, then we level up Lissandra. And that's whenever we... Um, whenever we level up uh, Lissandra, that's whenever we create the Watcher in hand. And then once we have the Watcher in hand, it will cost zero if we've summoned four plus of those allies that cost eight plus this turn. Um, so we're going to need to do both of those. All right, so basically our plan here, we really only have like two other things that cost eight plus. Now we do have, um, you know, Lissandra makes the Frozen Thrall, but like, Lissandra making a Frozen Thrall on turn two, it's going to take forever for that Frozen Thrall. Sorry, right here. It's going to take forever for that Frozen Thrall to count down. So that's not really what we're about. We're not even playing like the five mana card that stops the countdown early. Really, it's only about Trundle and Spectral Matron. So basically, our only way to get the eight cost card into play is to play Trundle and get Ice Pillar. Because once we have Ice Pillar, then, um, you know, we can, we can play Ice Pillar and then that's... Uh, that's one of the two for Lissandra. Our other card that we have is going to be Spectral Matron. So like Spectral Matron can put Ice Pillar into play, for example, or we can just go Ice Pillar um, and then we refill our eight mana and then we can play Spectral Matron. And so that's our two. But really it's about, it's about like those two cards. So we need to have two of those into play to create the Watcher. And then once we have that, once we have the Watcher in hand, then we'll be able to Spectral Matron put the Watcher uh, into play with Spectral Matron. Now, uh, that's not very many copies of stuff, right? Like, we're going to need more copies of Ice Pillars and Spectral Matron. So we have Fading Memories in here for zero mana. And really, this will work really well with the um, Ice Pillar, right? Because we can spend eight mana on Ice Pillar, refill our eight mana. Fading Memories, copy it. Spend another eight mana on Ice Pillar, refill our eight mana. So there we go. There's our two. Now our Lissandra levels up. Now we put the Watcher in hand, and we still have our eight mana. And so then we play Spectral Matron, put the Watcher into play, and attack with it, and we win the game. So really all we had to... So we need to have Lissandra in play, <clears throat> find a Trundle to create Ice Pillar, and then have that Ice Pillar, have this Fading Memories, have a Spectral Matron, and we can kind of win the game on the spot. So therefore... Um, so we, that is kind of a lot of moving parts. We do, it's necessary to find both of our champions. Obviously, we need Lissandra to create Watcher, and we need Trundle to create Ice Pillar. Because if we don't have Trundle to create Ice Pillar, we're really not going to be getting the eight uh, plus cost cards. So therefore, we are playing three copies of Entreat to help us find those two champions, because we really need both of our champions. Besides that, it's a lot of like, you know, removal. Um, some card advantage, the glimpse beyond, and some ramp, catalyst of aeons, and cold resistance. Cold resistance can help our Lissandra stay alive while ramping, because really we need to get to that eight mana um, part of the game. Spirit journey can um, can be used to be able to kill. Uh, like this can use be used in a variety of ways. We can kill an ice pillar and resummon it to to uh, get another eight cost card. Or we can also use Spirit Journey to as like a protection spell for Lissandra. If they like challenge our Lissandra or they, they're going to kill our Lissandra in some way, we can kill our Lissandra and resummon it and then it won't uh, die. All right, so we're playing on over in Ranked. I mean, I kind of like this hand. I think I'll mulligan Spirit Journey though. We probably don't actually need Spirit Journey. But against, yeah, Twisted Fate Fizz with how they can go real wide and everything, I like all these Ice Shards. Like, Ice Shards doesn't target Fizz, for example. And we'll be able to have one of our champions with Entreat. Alright, let's just get Fizz out of here. And I'm not going to use Entreat yet, because Entreat, you know, it does take a champion out of our deck, but we really want to draw champions. Like, even, like, the next champion, we want to draw. So, it's 
it's just a higher percent chance if we have six out of 33 champions than five out of 32 champions, right? So, you know, don't want to take out the top card because maybe it is another champion. Um, but obviously now we're filled on mana, so now we don't really have a choice. Okay. So need to find Lissandra because we're going to have like triple fading memories. <laughs> We're going to have crazy, crazy amounts of Ice Pillars. Deal me in. Soak it in. What's the Spirit Journey for? So the Spirit Journey can, um, like, reset an Ice Pillar to count as, as another thing for the Watcher. Or it can... Uh, or it can save like your Lissandra or your Trundle. Like you can use as protection as well. It just it's just kind of versatile. Um, if your opponent's like attacking you with like a big overwhelm, you can Spirit Journey it and kill it and put it back over there and save yourself for a turn. Also, so it, it just it so it kind of does a lot of little things. Even though it you know none of them are like amazing. Like you wouldn't put it in your deck for any one individual thing. But it since it can do a lot, it's in there. So this thing's already at 5 out of 8. I'll just pass. They have 3 fleeting cards. If they want to just like waste all their fleeting cards. Yeah, suit up's their card that saves Twisted Fate. Hopefully they don't have it. Yeah, it could have been two mana, because remember, they, they did draw four cards at the beginning of the turn, so they could have drawn suit up with one of those four cards, because we could we could also assume they didn't have suit up before whenever I killed Fizz. Alright, good. Wow. Okay, that gets burned. Because they're drawing a lot of cards. Like, are they drawing too many? Yeah, I thought they were going to be drawing too many. The cold resistance doesn't come at the best time. Eyes open. Because I'll have like the, the ice pillar stuff for my for turn eight anyway, so this doesn't really speed me up. So basically, we gotta just find Lissandra. Like, that's the best draw possible this next turn is Lissandra. Yep, we're in ranked. Only meme tier days, like on Mondays, are the only days we don't do ranked. Um, but sometimes we do meme tier days on Tuesdays also. But no, these, we'll do ranked with all these decks. They discarded Concurrent Timelines and Daring Poro. Hmm. No, Lissandra. So there's definitely a good chance. There's definitely a chance I can do it. Because like, this thing's fearsome, right? Yeah. There's a good chance I can do 15 damage to them next turn, right? Uh, maybe not. This Twisted Fate's at 4 out of 8. Which one should I kill? Twisted Fate or Wiggly Burblefish? If I, ki if I kill the Burblefish, I stay at 16. If I kill the Twisted Fate, I'm at 11. So basically, if I kill the Twisted Fate, I die the next turn. Like, at 11 with this, that means I'm dead the next turn. I think I'm going to do the Twisted Fate, honestly. Because I can't really afford Twisted Fate gold card if their plan is uh, pick a card. That's something I, I just can't afford gold card.
So I'm going to have one, two, three, four, five. Ten. There's Lysandra. So I think we have this. Well, by have this, I mean... Yeah, I have this. Uh, the spider is just going to get in the way, though. Yeah. I guess I guess I just don't get to Spectral Matron. I was going to Spectral Matron to put in Lissandra. But the spider is going to be in the way. Yeah, we just wouldn't play the fourth Ice Pillar. That is true. If they do somehow survive, hard casting Lissandra means. Oh, wait! Oh no, I was just talking and. Oh no! I just messed this up. Oh my gosh, that's why that's why you don't just talk with chat. Oh my gosh, I just messed this up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm sorry, Kordak. Yeah, I was just talking about how, yeah, I was like, I was like, yeah, you're right that the uh, tough Nexus will be really nice. And then I just played my Lissandra instead of just playing this other Fading Memories. Oh no. Well. I'm always up for a round or two. Okay, so yeah, they were going to gold card. My watcher. This is gonna be fun. Plans within plans. Yes, they would have gold carded the watcher, right? Like that, they because they, they were waiting for me to play the watcher, and they were gonna gold card the watcher and stunned it, so it would have taken me an additional turn. That is their third twisted fate. And oh, Mystic Shot over there. Yeah, we so yeah, attacking for Trundle for ten would have been nice. It would have would not have been lethal. We do normal on meme tier day. This is not meme tier day. Great thing about all these burble fishes, giving them all those cards to discard. I am planning on using the fading memories now, probably to, to make one of their elusive things to block. And next turn, we're going to Spectral Matron put the Watcher into play, and then... Also hard cast the watcher because it costs zero, which is silly. Yeah, these burble fishes just give them all those things to discard. I know, right? They got they just got to discard something to get excited. Now they got to rummage away two things. Open wide. I can't block the fearsome thing. No what? This thing is fearsome. Fearsome. You will do as I command. There we go. Alright, so it worked out. Took the scenic route to get there. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta take the scenic route. Yeah, I think I've lost most, most of the time to this deck as well. Okay, let's see what we got. Sejuani Siver. 
And we got a rampy hand. We do need... Do I want both ramp cards? Maybe just one. We do need Trundle, of course. But, like, I like the, the rest of this. But we do need Trundle. Like, that's basically the only thing that we're missing right now is Trundle. Okay. Hopefully that's Trundle. Ah. All right, let's help protect this Lissandra a little bit. Just a little bit. All right, Trundle. Nope. These stories were true. Trundle. Yeah. I'm a little worried about man. They, what an aggressive hand. I'm worried about, like, the vulnerable cards, right? Like, they use, like, the whatever card for vulnerable. I don't have to have Trundle down right this second. Is that block even worth it? Rid of that three one. Saw that a mile away. Good draw. So can we and basically if we and Lissandra can stay alive, we'll win this, but is that possible? It may not be possible. I don't really see any way that my Lissandra can stay alive also. Alright, GG's. I guess it... Draven Ezreal. That's a deck that can kill us quickly if they turn the corner. Alright, that's gone, that's gone. I do like the ramp for this matchup, but we need our champions. Um, I think I'm going to keep the ramp card, though. Alright, one champion. Escapes my watch. I will bury the world in ice. Boo. The watchers. All right, definitely gonna be waiting on the other Lissandra until we can find a Trundle and get some ice pillars in play and stuff. Where are you, Trundle? Where are you, Trundle? Time for the main event. I'm in. 
Well, that was a good turn, but we need to find Trundle. You have too much ramp. I can Spectral Matron and put Avaros and Sentry in play and just draw a card. Yeah, I definitely regret keeping the, this Catalyst of Aeons, right? Considering that's kind of like all we drew this game was just more Catalyst of Aeons. I'm definitely glad not Captain Farron. I can, you know, like, kill it, revive it. I can just copy an Arachnoid Sentry and, like, Stun Draven or something. I guess I'll just kill it, revive it. Let's see that. Yeah, Spectral Matron can just do a, a variety of things that are useful. Or not Spectral you were sorry, you were talking about Spirit Journey, sorry. Spirit Journey can do a variety of things that are useful. So that is two eight plus cost things for Lissandra now. Spirit Journey made another 8 drop. And there we go. We'd have Spectral Matron into Watcher the next turn. And opponents like GG's. Alright. Alright, back to Twisted Fizz. All right, we got the Ice Pillar. I like this Avalanche Vile Feast. Fading Memories has been just like one of our very best cards, honestly. All right, now it's all about Lissandra. Got to find our other champion. No, that's that's my least favorite threat to see because that one costs or that one has three health. That's why it's my least favorite one to see because it has three health. Um, I don't really care about living. We have predictions available. I'm gonna wait on Lissandra. I don't want Lissandra to die. Ooh. Can you improve perfection? Rise, metal. Alright, so they cannot kill Lissandra right now. Maybe I'll just Avalanche. Should slow them down a decent amount. So I do Trundle on turn 5. Cold Resistance on 6. So then I can do Ice Pillar, Ice Pillar... Ice Pillar, Lissandra, ugh, one short. The trolls are going to war. So we need to draw, we need to draw our third Fading Memories or a Spectral Matron. But I guess that would really be turn seven, and they have the attack token turn seven, so I guess I don't have to go, I don't have to like go off and go crazy on turn seven with 
the Watcha, because we don't have the attack token. The problem with... I, I'm still a little worried. Like, yeah, you can go... I could go Lissandra into Cold Resistance, but I'm, I'm just a little worried about Lissandra dying, right? Like, so I just don't really have to... I don't have to risk Lissandra dying, even though I don't know exactly how Lissandra's going to die. They'd have to use a bunch of Get Excited and everything, but I just don't have to risk it. Life's a little easier when everything costs zero. So if I play Cold Resistance, next turn we have nine mana. So enough for, basically for Ice Quake. If I don't, next turn we have 10 mana. So I kind of might as well. I only lose one mana next turn, but then... Could draw Vile Feast, and that could make a difference. That thing. This is just a, such a tough choice when you play a slow speed. If I if I pass, they go to attacks. I can spirit journey the four three, and then we take five. And then if they just have one get excited, one mystic shot, we lose. If I play this, then you know they have all this mana, and they can just like refill and attack for more. And, and you know, so it's it's kind of darn if you do, darn if you don't kind of thing. I think we're gonna ice quake, but like this, this could definitely not work out for me. But if I just let them go to attack, they can also definitely not work out for me. Like being at five, yeah. Like really, it was like that that last turn of like having like that suit up has really ruined me here. And I thought I was a troll. Okay. So I think if I would have just let them go to attack, I definitely would have lost, and still a decent chance that I lose anyway. But I think we have a better chance now. Hopefully I don't have a bunch more of those things. At best, I'm going to four. At best. Good suit ups. First time we played that matchup, my opponent did not have suit ups and we won. That one, they did have suit ups and we lost. How would I nerf Burblefish? I wouldn't. I wouldn't allow Burblefish to cost zero mana. I think that that's the problem with Burblefish. How it can cost zero? I, you know, it, I'd have it be something like a three mana three one. Like it could, it could even create the spell and just be a three mana three one and just be where. Uh, you know, can't be can't be played unless you've played three plus spells, right? It's like once you play three spells, then you can play a three mana three one, something like that. Like just keep it keep it where it has a mana cost. You could also if they if they want to just keep it with the zero and stuff, if they want to just get rid of the created spell, I wouldn't mind just that just to start with and just see what it's like if they just get rid of the created spell. Also, that could be interesting. Do I need a second trundle? Second Trundle may not be bad. I think we're going to keep the second Trundle, because I do like Trundle's champion spell. And also getting more Ice Pillars isn't bad. Only a fool would enter battle unprepared. Lunari, rise. Yeah. As far as, like, if you're saying that, that... If you think they need to fix concurrent timelines with Ledros Dreadway... That's a harder card to fix. Why didn't I just play the sentry there? That was definitely my plan. But I was just kind of—I was thinking about that. That's a harder thing to fix, and I'm not—I'm not exactly sure what you do to fix that. You have to—you have to completely redesign one of those cards. 
I'm not sure how you do that. You could also just change a mana cost. You could just make Ledros or the Dreadway cost 10. That would pro I guess that would maybe be the easiest thing to do. A dark cloud looms on the horizon. I think Timelines is fine at one mana. I think it would be cool if Timelines was a was a uh, landmark. And then, you know, you could kill it with landmark removal and stuff. But I think I think it kind of makes sense as like a landmark that's out there and does its thing what's in it when it's in play. This is going to be fun. Do not embarrass me, troll. Yeah, it, it feels like a mine. It feels like a landmark, right? Just a card that says for the rest of the game, do this other thing is weird. Because you can't interact with, you know, for the rest of the game, do this other thing. So that feels weird. Why am I not attacking with a 3 3? I'm just kind of thinking about this other stuff. I need to maybe focus on this game a little bit more. I, I should have played that sentry earlier on turn two. I should attack with a 3 3 there also. Your champion spells in tomb. So that that could be two little things you could change if you, if you want to change that. I don't think it like again. I think purple fish is the only thing that has to change. But if you want to change the concurrent timelines, one make it a landmark, and then you can you know interact with it a little bit. Um, and then two probably make like either Ledros or the Dreadway cost ten. I don't I don't think you'd really want to put any of them down to either of them down to eight, but. Just split up the mana cost. Have one cost nine, have the other cost ten. Whichever way you want to do it. Bask in her radiant blessing. If they're out there, I'll spot them. I think it'd be better to make the Dreadway cost 10 than cost 8. Doubling all the damage everything does is a really, really powerful effect. Lots of Alfies. No, Night Striker, I did not. This game has shown why... Aphelios is still the best card in the game, in my opinion. Aphelios has just been incredible. Obviously, they've had the extra mana with the Veil Temple that has helped, but... You know, Aphelios has gone and put both those box pluses into play. And multiple other...
You have multiple other mood weapons too. So do I want to protect Lissandra, or do I want to... I could, like, stop all this damage that the Aphelios does, but it's not killing me. I wish I would have used that spirit journey on this Aphelios now. I just don't really see what I'm supposed to do. Yeah, like that's that's not gonna work. Attack attack Aphelios, get rid of spell shield, avalanche, like that's that's not gonna work. Um That's true. I don't even know if my watcher's ever going to be able to do anything, will it? Because they're just going to keep fa they're going to keep phasing the stun card. I should have used the spirit journey on the Aphelios. But I don't, I don't think I'm winning that game. That Aphelios from turn 3 was just incredible. Good game. Okay, so that was our Turbo Watcher deck. It felt like it was pretty close to being real competitive, but just a little off. I think that the thing I was probably the most disappointed about in this deck was honestly the ramp spells. It felt like that um, I didn't really have time, like in the mid game, to be casting them, and I really just wanted like more interaction and and uh, things like that, like spells that kind of affected the board more. I was really, really impressed with Spirit Journey. It did, it actually did a ton of stuff for us, and and was really nice. Um, but honestly, I kind of wanted just like, yeah, I think I wanted just like removal and uh, things like that instead of like these cold resistance catalyst of aeons having like one copy of one of these was was okay it was just fine but drawing a second copy of any of like these six felt pretty bad and then if we ever drew like a third or a fourth it felt really really bad and so i think that's what i would do is i would just get rid of like these six cards and then you just have like six um you know interaction slots here that you can just kind of that you can kind of play um you know you I've, I've seen some people playing like ledros atrocity in this kind of deck and you can but i i think i would just prefer to have just like some interaction right so like i'm talking about having like a ruination that could be nice for um you know whenever your opponent's doing like going wide and doing crazy stuff like a ruination could be nice having like a vengeance in here also could be very good and then a couple of withering whales that can pair with your avalanches and ice shards and help stop purple fishes and things like that um and then like a grass the undying or two um also again you know heal that nexus and stuff like that um maybe one grass maybe one but it's also it'd also be nice to have like some flash freeze type cards actually maybe you know what i think for the other card i probably want like a three sisters actually three sisters can kind of do a lot uh of different stuff 
you know, have that flash freeze or fury of the north, you know, fury of the north to protect Lissandra if you need it. Flash freeze, if they have like some kind of big attacker in tomb that can slow your opponent down and just help you win while they get slowed down. So yeah, you know, like I think I would just prefer like these kind of cards over those those uh, ramp spells. Just kind of have a, a good little variety of interaction. Um, the glimpse beyonds also. I don't I don't know if I love the glimpse beyonds. I, I do understand that you do need like some. You probably need some card draw to help find the. So I guess maybe you have to keep it because you do need some card draw to help find these champions. Um, but I think I think that's what I would probably do. Yeah. Yeah, so you just you just don't need the ramp. You really don't. Like it's just have just have some good interaction. So I think this this deck was pretty close. I think trying it again with like these kind of cards could really help out. Um, I, yeah. So there we go. Fading Memories was incredible. I have to say that Fading Memories was it really was like one of the very best cards in our deck. I was incredibly impressed with with how good Fading Memories was in our deck, and um, and then Spirit Journey also. So, yeah, um, to try running it back with, like, just get rid of those six, six, uh, those six ramp spells, get six removal spells in here, and try this again, because I think that there could be some good stuff. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, give this new version a try, let me know how it goes. You know, these are, you know, you can kind of flex around some of these removal spells if there's some different stuff that you want to play in these regions, go ahead. But I think this is what I would uh, recommend doing with those six slots. So yeah, give, give this version a try and let me know in the comments how um, how does this version work for you. All right, but that's all I got here for Turbo Watcher. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.